Hey guys, I am back doing another boxing video. This time I am going to be doing Tiffany. Um, I am boxing up all my neonates because of a possible move this summer. And I don't really use them all that much. Why does she have socks in here too? Um, sorry. It's my dryer that you're hearing beeping. Um, I gotta get all her stuff out. Oh, here's her outfit. But I have decided to box my babies up temporarily because, like I said, there's a possible move this summer and I am comfortable boxing them up right now. Um, I'm going to put her back in her yellow sleeper and then put her back in her box. And then I'll kind of quickly go through what she will have in her box. You take off her St. Patrick's Day outfit, which was really cute on her. But I just need to get things clean and organized. My husband said I've been kind of on a rampage lately. The other day I um there we go. I went into our spare bedroom where I had a bunch of my kids out growing clothes and boxed up a bunch of them. I need to take them to Once Upon a Child. And then I made the mistake of going in the closet and finding two more boxes of stuff. Our Once Upon a Child has a one box rule or one tote rule, but they never say how big that tote can be. So I will be bringing in one large tote right now and then whatever. There, There's two Once Upon a Child's within reasonable driving distance and then there's another store locally that's a resale shop so my plan is to take it to the one once upon a child um first then take it like see if there's enough room hopefully they take a bunch of the stuff then take what's ever left over and if the tote is a little more empty where I can add some of the stuff from the other totes to the other once upon a child and then once again if the tote is empty or not I know it won't be empty but if there is not as much in the tote and I'm able to add more stuff to the tote I will be taking it to the local resale shop and then after that I don't know what I'm gonna do um probably then donate it is what I'm going to guess depending upon what's left in them um sometimes the resale shops and once upon a child can be picky and it's almost like oh well that's out of date and it's like really it's, it's a onesie how can that be out of date like I don't know I've noticed some can be ultra picky and I'll show an example in a second once I get her in her box. So she is actually in one of the rare yellow sleepers. Um, the girls mostly came in pink. Um, with the neonates, it, I've noticed the pattern was for the traditional neonates you could order a boy which came in a, the blue sleeper like Skylar had. You can order a girl which came in a pink sleeper, which, um, one of my other dolls has on her. Um, Ireland, I believe, has it. And then, um, you could order stork. And it seemed like the stork, if you chose a stork in a green, you gotta choose the color of the sleeper. So if you chose stork green, you seem to get a boy. And if you chose stork yellow, you got a girl. Um, that's kind of how it seemed to be. And although my friend knew this was a girl when she ordered it, because I got Tiffany as a birthday present for my friend. She knew I wanted a Native American baby. And um, this was the last one. Although I wouldn't have mind if it would have been a boy or a girl. Um, and then this is a neonate blanket and burp cloth set. And 
this is what I'm talking about, like, them saying things are out of date. Um, so, this is a Gap romper. I mean, it's peeling and it's got some stains on it. I don't mind because it's for my dolls. But, like, if I tried to sell this at Once Upon a Child, they would pull open this tag and they would go, Oh, it's holiday 2006. So, this outfit is 13 years old. It is out of date. When reality, like... To me, something like this doesn't really go out of date. It's a romper. It's pink. It says Baby Gap. And then it has, like, th it's got the faux sleeves and it's got thermal long sleeve. It, to me, something like that, I don't know, would, wouldn't be out of date. And it's, like, a light baby pink, so it's not, like, like, these outfits that I like from Gap, they're a Gap outfit as well, but they were hot pink. Oh, I forgot to put her arms down. It was a hot pink set and bright orange. All my babies have, or most of my babies have that set. And then the matching shoes. And then her neonate diapers. And she will be ready to be boxed up as well. Oh, her feet are getting stuck. So that is four down. Two to go. And then all the neonates will be boxed up. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I will see everyone in the next one.